The twins are on the road today, coming to you from Orange County, California. And we're talking the most extraordinary drain cleaning methods, and we're about to do that right, right now. now. So here we are at EPL Solutions headquarters. This is a family owned operated business. And what we love about it is the story of John, the owner who is a master plumber for 30 years, has done commercial and residential and has really put a lot of time, energy and in investing in the latest technology when it comes to drain cleaning. Yeah, their business motto actually is thinking ahead, which I absolutely love. Yep. In this industry, the latest and most innovative products and equipment helps us as plumbers and in turn helps those clients that are in need of that service. So in today's video, what we're gonna do is give you what the real differences are snaking versus descaling versus hydrojetting and more importantly what those new innovations can do for your piping issues this is really cool we're probably going to do a future video but i just wanted to show you since we're talking drains you do have the option of coating you know there's a lot of trenchless methods out there such as pipe bursting there's trenchless uh pipe inversion with as far as epoxy lining, but this is a coating system. And when you coat inside of a pipe, it has a 90 minute cure time. Amazing. This is pretty bad. This is a failed liner that uh, John's equipment was able to get out of a line. Pretty amazing. One of the biggest questions we get you guys is, will snaking, descaling, or hydrojetting break my old pipe? Well, we're gonna show you and put this equipment to the test with this one right here. This pipe's about to get cleaned. All right, in order to properly demonstrate an effective drain cleaning, we wanted to set up a real life, typical installation, an underground sewer installation, and that's gonna have a sewer clean out like this, typically four inch, and then the underground sewer pipe that needs a whole lot of cleaning. So the first demonstration is what we're gonna show is a typical plumber coming to a residential or a commercial application with a snake. Let's see what it does to this cast iron pipe. And we're gonna do that right now. Uh, what machine is this, John? Uh, this is a door cable DM162. It has 100 feet of 5 eighths cable. You guys make and sell that here, or you guys sell that here? I sell that here. Okay, this, got it. This is made in Des Moines, Iowa by Dora Cable. Got it. This is a typical plumber that shows up to a property yes. to do some snaking, correct? Yes. That's what we're going to demonstrate. Yes. Awesome. And then you have here a double blade. Yep, a double blade, uh, typical size, two and a half inch would be the normal blade that a customer would use. Okay. And they come in different sizes. I chose a round one, uh, which is common. Some of them are more pear shape or, or piercing, but this would be a very common blade with saw teeth. Okay, let's check it out in action. All right, so what I love about the Dura cable here, it's already pre-drummed with a 100 foot cable. That's big. Now you gotta understand that most lines are a hundred feet and a lot of the cables nowadays just come with the 75 foot cable then you got to bring more cable to get further down in with this application you're ready to go so if you're a homeowner watching this you might want to check with your plumber before they come out that they have a long cable to make sure that they're able to unclog yep. that drain for you hey john i noticed that you're putting the blades directly on the stiff cable. You're not using a leader. I know some plumbers use a leader. A leader is preference. Uh, a leader can help you negotiate um, some turns, like going through a closet bend or something. I personally have found I'm happier with just going on the end of the cable. Um, I've not personally needed a leader. Um, if I use a leader, it's only because I want to put a bend to my cable because I don't want to bend this cable. Got it. I will have a leader and that's what I will make my bend on. I'll take it off. Got it. Perfect. Thanks. All right, let's see how much of this junk we got from a single pass from a snake. No, 
not bad, but there's still a lot of compaction that needs to be removed. Yep. All right, you guys, you can see how the double blade traditional cable method clean this pipe. Now we're gonna go into the most next popular drain cleaning and that's hydrojetting. Let's check that one out. All right, so this is a trailer hydrojetter. This is widely used across the United States with plumbers going out and removing roots, uh, descaling to some degree, but this is a super popular uh, drain cleaning method. And you can see here, this one here is about 4,000 PSI. You wanna make sure that you have a jetter that's gonna operate in that three to 4,000 PSI range. Yep. It's the only PSI that's really going to maximize the use of these high-tech nozzles. Anything lower, you're not going to get the deep cleaning that you wanna see versus using a more high-powered PSI. Wow, John's pretty confident. He, you know, he's been doing this for many, many years, and he's got a small cart jetter, which we're gonna be using. He says he can attack a drain and get it much more clean than dealing with a big trailer jetter. And we're gonna watch that in action right now. So John, when you get to a call and you're running that camera down, do you run a camera before you determine what nozzle you're going to be using or what method you're going to be using when if, it becomes if, descaling yes so if the line is draining i would put my camera down with the line that i can see through right i'm not going to put my camera down a line that has water in it and then how do you determine so let's just say a, a client calls you we need we have old cast iron pipe we want to descale it and open that line back up mm -hmm. you run the camera what do you determine which nozzle to use at that point when it comes to hydrojetting um if I had a lot of buildup or roots or something like that, I would like a nozzle like this. Okay. I'm looking for the full coverage. Got it. And a nozzle like this spins faster. So I have, I've got more cuts a second, but they're also closer cuts. Because as you go down, you're going to get a spiral effect. Yes. I want more coverage. So more revolutions is really critical. All right, guys, while we're getting set up here, I just wanted to offer a quick explanation why we didn't run the cable down the clean out and that is because the elevation difference was too susceptible for that cable to swing around too dangerous so we ended up going behind it but with the jetter because it's more flexible and it's not rotating we're able to utilize this here so just wanted to offer that explanation Hydrojetting, a little bit more effective. You can see that it did take some big chunks out, but there's still a lot of compaction. This cart jetter though, I'm pretty impressed. Wait till you see this. All right guys, we've done the snaking, we've done the hydrojetting, but this is the moment that we've been waiting for. We drove all the way over here to Orange County, California to meet John, and we wanted to see the speed cut in action. This thing here, is pretty amazing we hear around all the plumbers walking around the shop and john just speaks highly of it so uh we're about to put this and do the final descaling of this cast iron so john tell us a little bit about the speed cut well speed cut is different in many ways uh, we use a dc brushless motor we have control up to zero to 3200 rpms on the snaking if you do a couple passes you saw the pile of debris that mm -hmm. we got out yes the hydrojetting, we did a couple passes. Yeah, we got some debris chunks. out mm -hmm. of there. With this one, if I'm snaking for five to 10 minutes, right? Mm -hmm. How much more effective and efficient is the speed cut? I, in this little section of pipe here, I will probably be done in five minutes. Yeah, it, it really is amazing. So you designed and created the speed cut? Yes. Okay. And what got you to create the speed cut? Because obviously, if you're necessity. out in the field, necessity. Necessity. You've, you've tried the jetters, the snakes, and probably wasn't as effective. And you're, that's what I love about you guys, thinking ahead. It says in the, on the, on the, uh, the door there, it says thinking yep. ahead, all your trucks, your vehicles. That's thinking ahead. That's, this is pretty awesome. So on a normal D scale, what setting are you going to have that on, John? I'm going to have it between 2,000 and 25. Perfect. And I'm also going to have my chains slightly smaller than the four. 
I don't want to be too aggressive. Got it. Interesting. I'm looking. I'm looking to do about 97% of the cut. If I want to do more, I can. If I need to smooth it out. But in most applications, guys are very happy with this result. We don't need to get it all the way down to the wall because we start pushing the envelope. Right. Where the pipe isn't quite compromised, but almost. And we want to save what we can. Beautiful. We don't want to push it. Let's see how much debris we're able to pull out of this pipe now that we're done. Wow, wow like, like new. new. So to give you a better perspective on how effective the speed cut was in descaling this old cast iron pipe, we brought out the best camera on the market. It's a G Vision and look at the details of how effective this cleaning is. Go ahead, Jim. And Come a little closer here, you can see a lot of the dark areas there is just a good indication that we're restoring that old cast iron pipe back to its original state. Pretty awesome. Guys, speaking of cameras, anytime you hire a service provider to descale, hydrojet, or even snake your drain, you want to get a camera like this and scope it afterwards so you can really see the effectiveness and the results. That's right. This camera is amazing. Hey guys, make sure you leave your comments down below. Plumbers, if you have any information you'd like to share, please leave it on the comments section below and make sure you hit that subscribe button. button.